Anytime we have a shooting in the age of social media, you can expect a fair amount of anti-gun virtue signaling posts from people of profiles high and low, from politicians and celebrities taking a bold and brave stance against murder and violence, to everyday people looking for their 15 minutes of fame based on their rejection of firearms. In the latter case, the stories vary but they often fall under the general theme of voluntarily disarming, usually coupled with bad information or poor reasoning. Like the guy in Phoenix who, after the Las Vegas shooting, gave his weapons to local police, describing them in wholly inaccurate terms. The pictures show Pring willingly handing over his firearms. A big old machine gun. And a pistol to a uniformed Phoenix police officer. Big old machine gun, that's a Ruger 1022. It shoots the smallest caliber rifle round outside of BBs or pellets, and it's semi-automatic. That's not an automatic weapon. You know, I'm starting to suspect that's not legitimately your big ol' machine gun, sir. Mostly on account of it being neither big nor a machine gun. And check out the irony of this lady on CNN talking about destroying her weapons and then facing threats in response. Why did you choose to destroy your gun? So over time, I came to the conclusion that people don't really need semi-automatic weapons. As we're sitting here talking on national TV, we're not sharing your location because it's my understanding. I appreciate you post, that. <laughs> you, yeah, you got it. Because after posting the video of you destroying your gun, you have been getting all kinds of threats. Yeah, that is a real pickle. If only there was some way by which you could defend yourself. But hey, nobody needs that type of protection, right? And you've probably seen this viral video from last month of a man destroying his own AR-15 so that, as he describes, it will never take a life. I've decided today I'm going to make sure this weapon will never be able to take a life. The barrel of this gun will never be pointed at someone. And you know, good call. I heard that rifle had been posting threats all over social media. I'm glad this guy got out ahead of it before that thing acted on its disturbing words. And today's story is a bit of a hybrid of all of these themes. A local politician seeking to raise her profile in her run for office, destroying an AR-15 as a bit of campaign pandering with hilarious unintended consequences that demonstrate once again, most of the people doing these stunts have no idea or understanding what they're actually talking about. They just want your empty praise. Karen Mallard is a local teacher running for the Democratic nomination in Virginia's 2nd Congressional District. And on Wednesday, she too decided she would join the virtuous elite of voluntary disarmament with a video Facebook post. I'm Karen Mallard. I grew up in Wise County. Surrounded by guns, our family had guns my whole life. A while back, my husband bought this AR-15. I wasn't happy about it, and after last week, I told him I wanted this gun out of my house, and he agreed with me. And then we saw Emma Gonzalez's speech, and we realized we didn't want this gun in anybody else's house either. So today, we're going to destroy it. Now, if you're taking your firearm wisdom from Emma Gonzalez, that's a problem. You'll recall in that speech that she said it's easier to get an automatic weapon than it is to make weekend plans with friends. We certainly do not understand why it should be harder to make plans with friends on weekends than it is to buy an automatic or semi-automatic weapon. Well, your friends must really suck if they put up more hoops than an extensive background check, fingerprint submission, and a $200 tax just to hang out with you. But then again, I'd want more money than that to hang out with her. You'll recall Emma also warned about the dangers of concealed rifles. You do not need a permit to carry a concealed rifle or shotgun. Now that quote is silly because you can't really conceal a rifle. Not a legal one, at least. Both federal and Virginia state law heavily regulate short-barreled rifles out of practical availability. Under federal law, any rifle with a barrel under 16 inches or an overall length under 26 inches isn't legal to possess unless properly registered by a licensed carrier with the ATF. And it is illegal to make your own short-barreled rifle without checking those lengthy regulatory boxes. But hey, laws be damned. Karen is heeding Emma's warning about concealed rifles by making her rifle more concealable, sawing off the barrel to a much shorter length under the premise of destroying the firearm. This teacher and mother is joining Moms Demand Action. And to those students in Florida and across our country, keep standing up and speaking truth to power. These gun owners heard you and we're going to stand by you. And as your future Congresswoman, I'll make comp comprehensive gun reform a top 
priority. It's amazing to see she's clearly reading off a script, meaning this stunt was prepared and thought out. But despite all that thought, she's still illegally modifying a weapon to promote a gun control agenda. She is advocating additional gun laws while appearing to violate existing ones. Now, for reasons both sincere and mimetic, the internet has been reporting Karen Mallard to the ATF for illegally constructing a short-barreled rifle. An easy gesture, hilariously demonstrated by Donut Operator. But it's not all jokes. Based on Karen's video, there is reason to believe that she broke the law here. And so local news confirms the ATF is now investigating. Virginia Beach police tell us Karen Mallard is under investigation by the ATF. That's because in cutting the weapon, she created a sawed off shotgun, which is illegal. A sawed off shotgun. That's a rifle but close enough, I guess. Doesn't anybody know anything about guns around here? Now, in fairness to Karen, she says she had already destroyed the weapon's function prior to making the video, and sawing off the barrel was just some type of symbolic gesture, apparently. That, that gun could have never been used before I even cut it. It had already been rendered inoperable. Personally, I don't buy it. If you want to make a video destroying a weapon, make a video destroying the weapon, not illegally modifying it. Even if she truly understood what she was doing, I don't know how she would post a public video displaying behavior that if copied by your average citizen would be illegal. Even if the destruction of the weapon was responsible, the video presentation was not. And that's the great irony here. This is yet another demonstration from a person who wants more control over firearms and your ability to defend yourself with them, who clearly has no understanding of how firearms function or of the laws that already exist to regulate them. She doesn't have an understanding of guns if she thinks that sawing off the barrel destroys them. And she doesn't have an understanding of the law if she thinks that sawing off the barrel is legal. More ironic still, if the gun control that Karen believes in is actually applied, she will be con convicted of felony possession of an unregistered short-barreled rifle, and therefore barred from buying or possessing firearms in the future. That would be the current gun control system working as designed without need for any additional law whatsoever. But I suspect Karen probably opposes that charge and conviction, because it's not about controlling her, of course. It's about controlling you. She has no understanding of the weapons and terms by which law-abiding Americans defend their lives and property. Yet she expects us all to diminish that right by yielding her more authority. If it's common sense gun reform you want, Karen, start by working on your own common sense first and get back to me about the gun reform later. Thanks as always for listening and for supporting this channel always. Appreciate that thoughtful discussion down below and especially over on Twitter. That is at ML Christensen. You're always welcome to coming out and chat in my live streams. Those are linked down in the description. Looking forward to it. Okay.